reviews a Black Panther movie because racism and the title seems to be cut off for some reason. But yeah. If you're planning to review the upcoming film Black Panther on Rotten Tomatoes, it better be positive or else. Yeah, let's get into this because this is interesting. Oh, by the way, guys, I'm back. Hi. The review site has warned fans ahead of Black Panther's February the 16th release that negative reviews out of, quote, hate will be blocked. Because at the end of the day, we can't have a minority film where it doesn't and isn't universally accepted, can we? Because that would suck. And that's what it's basically about. Let's jump into it. The response was prompted by a Facebook group called Down With Disney's Treatment of Franchise and Its Fanboys. <laughs> Attempting to organise its followers to give Black Panther negative scores. Black Panther is a Marvel superhero who first appeared in its comics in 1966 and has been featured in many recent Marvel films. I think he's only been in like one or two, but anyway. The Facebook group had a similar campaign against Star Wars The Last Jedi, which received an audience score of 48%, which probably was fairly accurate, actually, to be honest. The group created a Facebook event of the members of the anti-Disney Marvel fan base with the objective of giving Black Panther a rotten audience score on Rotten Tomatoes. Nearly 4,000 people said they were, quote, going in the event, with an additional 2,000 marking said they were interested. The fan group posted in the event, due to the sudden rise and disgruntled with Disney's business practices, especially due to the corporate manipulation which created falsified bad press for the DCEU, I feel that it's time to strike back at all those under Disney and bring down the House of Mouse action for playing off its critics that hurt DC Comics on film and by other partners affected by them. This just seems... I don't know if it's a troll group or not, but... This just seems like it's a bunch of guys that just want to basically teach DC Comics a lesson. But anyway. Rotten Tomatoes responded in the rap. We at Rotten Tomatoes are proud to have become a platform for positive fans and debate that discuss entertainment. And we take the responsibility serious. While we respect our fans' diverse opinions, we do not contain hate speech... Our team of security network and social experts to continue to closely monitor our platform and any users who engage in such activity will be blocked from our site and their comments removed as quick as possible. You can tell where this is going to end up going, don't you? The anonymous message left fans who wondered how Rotten Tomatoes will determine the low score is hate speech. Someone tweeted, what is someone generally do not like it? I mean, how does that see a difference between someone giving it a bad rating and someone sabotaging? It's a fair point. And I don't think there will be a difference, to be honest, but keep going. So if I think that's crap, I'm racist. That's just plain stupid. And someone else responded, Rotten Tomatoes. So AKA, if the movie Black Panther sucks, it's going to be considered hate speech. Laugh out loud. It's probably loaded with SJ crap anyway. Lol. Yet they're allowing a lot of race baiters to tell anyone not black not to go see it because it's their culture. Hmm. And that's actually a good point. There has been a lot of people posting online things like, for example, if you're not black, please do not go and see the movie on the day of release. Because it's our movie. The far left Huffington Post picked up the story and labelled the Facebook group alt-right. For its fans, nothing dissatisfaction with feminism being pushed into their beloved stories. I don't think Black Panther has anything to do with feminism, but anyway. Once the, quote, alt-right label was applied to the cinephiles and the fanboys, Facebook administrators delayed the event, as well as the movie group Down With Disney, treatment of franchise and its fanboys with no recourse. Black Panther opens the President Day weekend and its projected earnings are between 120 to 150 million dollars. So at the end of the day, what's my theory on all this? Okay, so first of all, let's talk about this movie. There is a big push from the Black Twitter community to go through and make this movie. We were kings the movie, bro! Which in itself is completely insane and we'll get to in a sec. 
So not only are they going through and actually making this movie less interesting for someone like me to go and see, you're actually going to encourage people to troll the movie by giving it a bad review. Congratulations, you're doing the one thing that you quote don't want to do. Second, the reason is at the end of the day, this isn't We Were Kings, the movie, bro. Because at the end of the day, the black slaves actually came from the east side of Africa. And the We Were Kings was actually the west. So at the end of the day, yeah, I'm sorry, your logic's flawed. The kings, you want to be, you want to claim you were kings? Come from Cairo, come from Egypt, come from those places, which ironically use slaves. So, <laughs> what, your community can only get big when it, what, builds slaves? So how are you any different than the white community you're supposedly attacking? But regardless, that's another story. But at the end of the day, like I say, people are trying to push this movie as we were kings without even seeing it. And a part of me wishes that this movie sucks just so that the black community can fall flat on its ass and stop movie, using movies like this to push an agenda. At the end of the day, I just want to go and see a movie because it's a movie. I don't want to go and see political content. I get enough of that with these videos. And a lot of people are saying the same thing. And, and as for this movie, like I said, no one's seeing it yet. Just before you go start labelling the movie, we were kings, bro! You might actually want to go and see the movie, just to see if it's any good. Because at the end of the day, if it's shit, we know what you're going to do. We're going, you're going to turn around and claim, oh, it sucked because people bagged it because it was a black movie. So either way, you know, the movie's going to win, I suppose, isn't it? But regardless. As for them removing the reviews, you know what's going to happen with this. Every bad review is going to be labelled as hate speech. They're going to go through and remove it. And at the end of the day, they're going to claim that, oh, it was a troll community, like they did with Hillary's book. So at the end of the day, yeah, I, I'm sorry. But if this movie's shit, I'm going to go and leave a bad review. If it's good, I'm going to leave a good review. Guess what? That's what people who see movies do. So, at the end of the day, I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Are you expecting a mass influx of articles coming out saying that the Black Panther movie was bagged on Rotten Tomatoes because of trolls? Or, or do you think they're actually going to like it? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack a like if you're new channel. Welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.